that uh, she held the Quran in her hands and lied on it. Like uh, she took a false oath to protect her honor. But ever since she has felt remorseful and she does not what to do. She does not know what to do. Okay, what was the thing that she swore against? She didn't tell me. She said it was to protect her honor. Like, okay, any more know. questions? No, thank you. Jazakallah. Barakallahu okay. feekum. Um, Amina from Pakistan says her friend asked her this question and she made a false oath while holding the Quran. And she says, what should she do? Well, first of all, there is no great emphasis when you make a normal oath by Allah's name or when you hold the Mus'haf. Some of the scholars even went further and said that making an oath on the Mus'haf is an innovation, it's a bid'ah. Some scholars said that this is to give an emphasis, like when you give an oath after Asr, or when you give an oath next to the member of the Prophet ﷺ, or next to Maqam Ibrahim in, in Mecca. But this is beside the point. This was not done by the Prophet ﷺ or his companions. So the act itself is not from the Sunnah, and it is closer to be a clear innovation. Yet this does not impact the oath. So whether you say verbally, Wallahi, I didn't do this, and you're lying, or you put your hand on the Mus'haf and say, Wallahi, I didn't do this, and you're still lying, it's the same thing. Secondly, there is no expiation for oaths that are done for things that were in the past. The expiation is only for the things in the future, whether that you would do it or not do it. So if I say, Wallahi, I will not enter your home indefinitely, or I won't have lunch with you tomorrow, and then I break my oath, I have to expiate. If I say, Wallahi, I will bring you the money tomorrow, and I don't. I have to expiate. But something in the past, wallahi, I didn't take the pen. Whether I was lying or telling the truth, regardless, there is no expiation. Even if I was lying, there is no expiation because it was something in the past. Whether I'm sinful or not, this depends on a number of factors. Now, if someone was put under the spotlight and he was forced to swear and take an oath over something that would jeopardize his safety. So someone is hiding in my room and an assailant, a perpetrator, is asking, is there anybody in the room? If I say yes, he's going to kill him. If I say no, he says, swear. I said, okay, wallahi. He said, no, swear on the Mus'haf. He brings the Quran. He said, bring me six copies. Wallahi, 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 he's not in the room. There's no problem in that because this is something that I was forced to do. And likewise, if it, it, it dealt with my honor, if it dealt with a woman under pressure from her husband, who is insisting as an ignorant imbecile that she swears and takes an oath on the Quran that she didn't have any relationship before marriage. It's none of your business what I did before marriage, Akhi. He says, no, you have to swear by Allah or I'll divorce you. If she says the truth, she's gonna be divorced and her reputation would be tarnished forever. No, take an oath and this, is forced oath, under com uh, uh, compulsion. You're forced to do this, and inshallah, this is not sinful, Allah knows best.